All right, now that I've got the pit dug to, I don't know, roughly two and a half feet, two feet, whatever, it's not a big deal, I'm going to pick up a lot of these little twigs and branches that fell from the hurricane and turn them into charcoal. So something that's really important is you want to make sure that you always have a five gallon bucket of water before you start your fire. <laughs> Very important safety tip. Got my dumpster dove cardboard to uh, easily start the fire. I'm gonna get this rolling. This is how you turn a problem into a resource. Because charcoal can be used for a lot of things. You can use it to purify your water. You can use it to inoculate your soil with healthy fungi and microbes. Because the fungi and microbes love the tiny niches that are available in the carbon of the charcoal. Okay guys, so I just want to show you kind of, this is what the sweet spot looks like when you're making charcoal. You see that? There's very little smoke, and it's, you can see it's turning black all under that. There's a lot of charcoal. I'll uh, show you in a little bit what it looks like close to the end product. So. All right, so this is kind of how I am up keeping the flame, so I'll just show you that. I look for spots that are turning red and white, glowing hot, and I'll just sprinkle a little bit on there. just to try to keep the oxidation of the fire low and keep it converting to charcoal so it doesn't go straight to ash. So it's a, it's a constant maintenance, but I'm also cleaning up my parents' yard after this hurricane hit. So it's a, I'm getting awesome stuff I can use in my garden, using my compost toilet, using my pea bucket, used to filter the rainwater, many uses. In case I get bit by a snake, draw that poison out easily. Um, so, yeah, instead of just burning it and letting it all smoke off of the atmosphere, I'm going to be storing it in the soil, sequestering the carbon, instead of just wasting it away. So, make some charcoal, you guys. Alright, hey guys, so I just uh, threw the, my five gallon bucket of water on it after some nice coals were raging. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to just take the shovel here and dig down a little bit and show you guys what it looks like. Look at this. You hear it? Crispy. That's how you know you did it right. When it's real fine and brittle and breaking and not much woodiness to it, it's just perfect. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you go home and make this, uh, you know, instead of just burning it to get rid of it. You know, and hugel culture is a good option too, but charcoal is just very, very resourceful and useful. So, thanks for watching.